Today for our last math lesson of Unit 2, we will be working in Lesson 14. In this lesson, we will practice adding 3 and 4 add-ends. We've done this before, toward the beginning of the year, when we had problems like this. We had 3 or sometimes 4 numbers to add. Today will be pretty similar, except today all of our problems are going to have two-digit numbers. So since they will have two-digit numbers, it's going to be a little bit more time-consuming, and we're going to need to write the problems very carefully to help us solve. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is our first example problem together. We have 45 plus 37 plus 23. So as you can see, we have three add-ends to put together. Now, right now, my problem is written horizontally. And sometimes we will see problems written like this. But in order to help me add efficiently, I want to change that. I know that adding up and down makes my life a lot easier because that way I can add the ones and the tens, just like we did when there were only two numbers. So I'm going to take these three numbers and I'm going to switch them and write them up and down. Watch how I do that. I make sure I copy them exactly. 45, 37, and 23. Now, since I have three numbers, sometimes we want to put two plus signs. We do not need two plus signs. No matter how many numbers we add, we only need to put one plus sign at the bottom by the last number to show that we are adding. Now, this looks pretty similar to when we just add two numbers. The biggest difference is now we just have three. Just like we practiced in previous lessons, I have the tens place and the ones place. And just like before, I always start adding in the ones. That's a rule I'm always going to follow. Now, first I need to add up all of my ones. You might use a different strategy. What I like to do is I like to start with the biggest number and then count on the other numbers. So I do something like this, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's very important that you make sure you add all three numbers. Some people, after they add it, they like to do this with their pencil. They go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And they actually lightly cross off the numbers with their pencils. You can do that if that is a helpful strategy. Now, just like when I added two numbers, I asked myself, did I make a new 10? The answer is, yes, I did. So that new 10, just like last time, goes up into my tens column, and I bring my five ones down to the bottom, just like last time. The only real difference is that I added three numbers instead of two. Now I go next door to the tens place and I do the same thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one more, ten. Ten tens, that gave me a new hundred. So these three numbers added together gives me an answer of 105. We do the exact same steps as when we had two numbers. I just make sure that I add all three numbers this time. Let's try another example together. I have 46, 38, and 68. So three numbers again. I'm going to write them vertically, up and down. I always want to make sure that I line my numbers up because that will help me to add and I only need one plus sign at the bottom. Okay, just like last time, if you like to draw the line to separate your tens and your ones, you can do that. I'm going to start with the tens. Now in this case, I see that I have a double, and I know my doubles really well. I know that eight plus eight gives me 
16. Now I just need to add six more on. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let me write that over here. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I was just about to ask myself if I could, if I made a new 10, and look at what I'm noticing. In the tens place, I don't just have one new 10. I have two tens because I have 22. And since I have two tens, I'm not going to write a one up top. I need to write a two for my two tens. Oh, that's a difference. We have not had to do that before. So make sure if you make a number higher than 19, maybe in the 20s or maybe even in the 30s, I look at what number is in my tens place and that's the number I move up to the top. Now let's add up my tens. Six, set, oh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I got 15 tens. So that means that my total number is 152. So this problem had something a little bit different because instead of just one new 10, I made two new 10s. You might have some problems where you have two new 10s or maybe even three new 10s. It depends on how many numbers you add up together. So be very careful if you have a problem like this one and ask yourself, how many new 10s did I make? Let's practice one more example together. Let's look here. We have 25 plus 67 plus 31 plus 29. Now in this problem, we have four add-ins to put together, but here's the good news. We do the same exact steps. Right now, they are horizontal and I want to put them vertically because it just makes my life a little bit easier to add. So let's put all the numbers down. 25, 67, 31, 29. And just like before, I only need one plus sign right here at the bottom, right above my answer line. Now, I do the same exact steps as I did in every other problem. I always start in the ones place. I'm going to use my pen to cross off as I add. And look what I see here. I see nine and one more. That gives me a 10, doesn't it? So I'm gonna add those two together first. So I have 10 plus seven. Oh, I know those 10 facts pretty fast. 10 plus seven, that gives me 17. Now let's just add five more on. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Just like in the last problem, I got 22 ones. Now, if you remember, when I look to see if I have any new tens, I have to look at this number. And in the tens place, I have two new tens. So up top in the tens column, I'm going to write a two. Then I'm going to pull my two ones down to the bottom. And just like before, let's add up our tens. I like to start with a big number. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Isn't that the same exact answer as I got last time? 152, let's check. Oh, it is. And over here, I added three numbers. But in this problem, I added four numbers. But just like last time, I had two new tens. That's why I put a two up at the top instead of just a one. How about let's try one more practice together since we got the same answer for this problem. Here's our last problem today. 75, 42, 37, and 89. Let's write it vertically.
And if you like to separate your tens and your ones, I always start with the ones. Here we go. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I got 23 ones. I look in the tens place, I have two new tens, and I pull my three ones down to the bottom. Now let's add up the tens. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 tens. That means I made two new hundreds. My final answer is 243. Remember second grade, the most important part is to make sure your numbers are lined up neatly. You might make more than one new 10. And if you do, that's okay. Just make sure you put however many tens in the tens place, and you might even make more than 100. So make sure you add carefully and make sure that you add all of your numbers.